everyone that is in this household of faith shall be the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us I believe this stuff I'm not just preaching it say I believe this I'm not just preaching it I believe it I live it and I'm proving it in all things now you don't have to do what I'm saying you don't have to do what I'm doing you don't have to follow me but there are certain guarantees if you do and that's what I'm talking about today I'm gonna to be talking about those certain guarantees say certain, certain. Guarantees. guarantees and I'm not making it up but I know who I am and I know where I'm going and I know how to take you with me I mean that's part of what I'm called to do is take you with me Amen. right a lot of people don't like the gospel this strong but that's too bad you clicked on this now you're gonna get it it's the only way I have to give it you're gonna get the way I have to give it and it's strong what do you want just a little soft cushy gospel well you come to the wrong place Galatians chapter 6 let's look at verse 6 let him that is taught in the word communicate or give unto him that teaches in all good things is that in your Bible yes. what is this person supposed to be teaching in all bad things no, no. if he's correct he's going to be teaching you say teaching me, teaching me. in all good, things. all good things all good things is that good yes. verse 10 as we have therefore opportunity let us do good to all men especially say especially, especially. unto them who are of the household of faith yes. say the household, of faith. the household of faith the household of faith one of the things that we're going to be teaching all good things is in the household of faith Acts 16 31 we don't we don't have to turn there but it says me and my house or you and your house shall be saved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now saved is the Greek word sozo and it means to be healed it means to be delivered it means to be prospered mm -hmm. yes. that could mean your youth being renewed those are all good things aren't they yes. those should be in the household of faith you know there's a lot of faiths where those things aren't in because they're not being taught in all good things they're not being taught in healing in prosperity in youth renewal mm -hmm. are you here well my entire household of faith those who believe the way I do say those who believe, those who believe. the way I do, the way I do. shall be saved all of them all of them shall be saved healed all of them healed mm -hmm. all of them prospered mm -hmm. and all of them youth renewed is this strong enough mm -hmm. my entire household of faith now you understand a household of faith is the way you believe mm -hmm. that's your faith say my faith is the way I believe, my faith is the way I believe. those who believe this way are in my household of faith and they shall be saved my household all of them all of them yeah but what about me all of them shall be what what part of that was a stutter shall be shall be all of my partners everyone that is in this household of faith shall be get that straight all good things included would youth renewal be included in that yes. that's a good thing yes. would prosperity be in that yes. yes that's a good thing 
now you understand that there are lots of different households of faith or we could say lots of different households of unbelief and probably be more accurate mm -hmm. well the household of faith is what you believe so those who are in my household of faith are you getting this yes in my household of faith we believe certain things that other people don't believe mm -hmm. and therefore they're not really in this household of faith but those who are in this household of faith my household of faith mm -hmm. all good things shall be mm -hmm. hope I'm getting this across but well, we're different here and if you've been here a while you know that is true and therefore I'm talking to you I'm talking to you this household of faith I believe you're getting it now I can bring you into this household of faith but you're gonna have to hear and you're going to have to do the things we say now remember I started this out by saying you don't have to but if you do there's certain guarantees for you yes. so I can bring you into it but you must partake well you say what's in the house have you ever been to an open house have you ever been to a <laughs> open house a lot of times you get the neighbors they will come and they're curious about what's on the inside of the house they've seen the outside of the house mm -hmm. but they want to see the inside of the house they want to see what they've been driving past all these years yes. right mm -hmm. all the neighbors show up they've never been in it they're curious they want to see what's in it what's in what what's in the house well we have things in this household of faith that don't exist in the other households of faith does that make sense yes. deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 10 and it shall be when the lord thy god shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto thy fathers to abraham to isaac and to jacob to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not verse 11 and houses full of all good things he's bringing you to a house filled with all good things say all good things, all good things. which you did not fill well when the neighbors figure it out and they come to the household of faith they will see that the first thing that is in your household of faith is the Holy Ghost as God the living God God in the earth today and you walk with him mm -hmm. he's the one filling it with things you didn't fill mm -hmm. his things say his things. his things well how can you talk about prosperity healing and youth renewal so much because they're his things they come with him when he moved in he brought his stuff with him and if you're smart you just move your stuff aside or get rid of it and let him him move his stuff in his furniture is much nicer yes all of his stuff inside all good things Amen. he came down and he brought all good things say it again oh. all good things which you did not fill he filled it well my partners are connected with me and they're in my household of faith and all good things from the Holy Ghost shall be unto them Philippians chapter 4 verse 9 those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you is that in your Bible yes, who is the God of peace the Holy Ghost he's the only one to be with you so if you do these things in this household of faith the God of peace the Holy Ghost will be with you that's the deal now this was Paul talking here he said if you if you both learned and received and heard and seen in me do the people that were doing that would be in Paul's household of faith yes. are you here yes. well we're in this household of faith 
say this household of faith and we're learning things and we're hearing things and we're seeing things and we're doing those things that makes us part of this household of faith if you do that the same blessing that's on me in this household of faith will be on you because you're part of this household of faith mm -hmm. which includes healing of all your sicknesses and diseases mm -hmm. financial prosperity and your youth renewed blessing that's on me will be on you too that same blessing say that same blessing, that same blessing. proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it is it okay with you if i walk in this particular scripture yes. the blessing of the lord making me rich adding no sorrow with it well i do walk in this verse of scripture and the people in my household of faith walk in this verse of scripture and the same blessing that's on me comes on them too get that straight say that blessing, that blessing is, on is on me and what's it doing making it's making you rich and adding no sorrow with it Amen. own it mm -hmm. live it that's part of this household of faith i don't like the message that strong i know and those who bless me are blessed they're made rich no sorrow added i know it for a fact that those who bless me the blessing comes on them makes them rich and adds no sorrow with it how can you say that Amen. i'm just saying what he said he's in my house you've come in the house are you getting this well some don't like this and won't like it but the Holy Ghost said to me I have given you the ability to make men rich and you can see that here because the blessing is on me making me rich I'm telling you I've been given the power to make men rich see but I get to say it nice and strong you'd think you'd want to hear that see because those who bless me the same blessing comes on them and that blessing makes them rich why do you have such a problem with your Bible you got to stop arguing with what the Bible says and start believing it and getting in agreement with it and then you'll see listen then you'll see things begin to take place in you on you and around you psalms 112 verse 1 praise ye the lord blessed is the man that fears the lord wouldn't it be good to know who the lord god in the earth today is yes. and fearing him one of the words for fear is translated worship those who worship the lord god holy ghost mm -hmm. blessed does that say what it says praise ye the lord blessed is the man we just read what blessed means mm -hmm. made rich no sorrow added yes. so if i worship the lord i will be made rich with no sorrow added mm -hmm. yeah. part of my ability to make you rich is preaching the unadulterated word of god so that you can hear it for the first time because where you've been going you don't even hear this they don't even say it praise ye the Lord blessed is the man that fears the Lord that delights greatly in his commandments or in his word his seed shall be mighty when he gets to heaven oh. wrong translation his seed shall be mighty where yeah. upon the earth so you're worshiping God the Holy Ghost and you're mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed what does blessed mean why don't we read the next verse verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house in my household of faith wealth and riches be all of my partners wealth and riches be in them on them and around them deal with it promises promises pro you make so many promises 
i'm not the one who made the promises Amen. i'm the one who gets to preach the promises and you get to deal with it second mm -hmm. corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises mm -hmm. of god the holy ghost in him are yea or yes mm -hmm. and amen under the glory of god by us mm -hmm. all the promises say all the promises. all the promises sounds like all good things doesn't it, mm -hmm. yes, it does. all the promises all good things mm -hmm. in this house say all good things, all good things. In, this house. in this house say i'm so glad to be in this house i didn't make them up i didn't make the promises i, I don't think i could have made them up that well i'm simply stating that when and if you worship him the holy ghost and learn how to walk with him by saying words then all these promises will be in your house because they're in this house i'm telling you you just need to get in agreement all these things are in his house and if you worship him and speak in agreement with his word he's in your house you're literally his house Amen. first corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 know you not that you are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwells in you or the spirit god dwells in you who's the spirit god the holy ghost, the holy ghost. he dwells in you and all of his promises are yes and amen. amen that's your household of faith live it believe it say it well i am his house and if you worship him so are you and you are in my household of faith say if i worship him, I worship him. i'm in this, I'm in this household, of faith. household of faith you understand because a lot of people don't do that I was told to use the words i worship you holy ghost and if i use the words i worship you holy ghost it inserts me into a different household of faith my faith changes dramatically and if you begin to use those words you will see your faith changing dramatically Amen. you enter into this household of faith so if i brought you here and you use those words then you are in my household of faith and there are certain benefits guaranteed are you here yes. say all good, things. all good things that's what he god in the earth today brings to the table mm -hmm. all good things he doesn't leave anything out he brought all good things and it's what i'm bringing to the table can you hear it yeah. well if you can receive it things that i've said tonight then it will change your thinking you will have new thinking you will have new believing which means a new faith a new household of faith you enter into and a new reality a new reality of walking with the living god in the earth today and speaking in agreement with his words it really is a new beginning it's like a new new beginning and the reason is because we weren't brought up this way we were brought up in some other way so then when the, when we get straightened out it looks brand new it shouldn't be but it is i know i'm glad to be in this household of faith galatians 3 verse 2 this only would i learn of you received ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith how'd you receive the spirit the by the hearing of faith is that right yes. verse three are you so foolish having what begun where in the spirit are you now made perfect by the flesh or by dependence on the flesh the fact is you begin with the holy ghost mm -hmm. a lot of people don't begin with the holy ghost they begin some other place and they spend their whole life some other place where you're supposed to begin with the holy ghost 
and then it says then you're made perfect by dependence on the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. we begin with the Holy Ghost and are made perfect by dependence on the Holy Ghost so it really is a new beginning having begun say begun yeah. in the spirit I've said this before it is like homeroom remember homeroom when you went to school it was a long time ago now but you all go in there and you check in and then you know, you know some people get perfect attendance I was never one of those <laughs> but it's me now because I check in worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today is like homeroom it's where you check in and it's where listen things begin for you I feel like I've been you know spinning my wheels and not getting anywhere because you haven't begun yet you begin by worshiping God mm -hmm. say I begin, I begin by worshiping God, worshiping God. who's God in the earth the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost that's where you start and then you meet the teacher who's the teacher the Holy Ghost is the teacher and then he begins to take you by the hand and walk you into the classes you need to be in John 14 26 Jesus said when he has come he shall teach you all things mm -hmm. say all things. all things does that mean the beginning things a lot of people have been taught a bunch of beginning things that wasn't by him listen he says to you I am your education I am your education Isaiah 48 17 for thus says the Lord thy Redeemer the Holy One say the Holy One the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel I am the Lord thy God which teaches thee to profit and leads thee by the way that thou shouldest go who does this Holy Ghost you may have graduated from college but now your new education begins because he is your education I was given the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I use them if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you are in this house and it's a new beginning for you many many people are doing this many people have told me it is a new beginning is it a new beginning yes. things are different you're learning things in a it's like you entered into a whole different school and it's a brand new education everything's new mm -hmm. and all good things are there and available to you yes. now I was told to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost so I'm telling you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it's homeroom yes when you do it you, he will be he will become your education and take you to the classes you need to learn is this fun yet mm -hmm. first timothy chapter 6 17. 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god the holy ghost is the living god the living god is the holy ghost we're supposed to trust we're supposed to have faith be in the household of faith in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who's going to teach you how to do that living God you can't worship the living God the Holy Ghost and say this verse of Scripture like I've been telling you to do mm -hmm. without all things all good things beginning to move in your direction mm -hmm. you can't worship the Holy Ghost and say this verse of Scripture without the things richly moving in your direction say richly, richly. Moving, moving in my direction, in my direction. Mm -hmm. that's part of this household of faith you worship him and speak in agreement with his word his word says living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost 
living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship you Holy Ghost living God gives me richly all things to enjoy you can't do that without all good things richly moving in your direction that's your new education that's where your new education begins and all good things shall begin moving in your direction and he will show you how to deal with them how to talk with them and how to live in the abundance that he's provided for you but you haven't been there yet and you need to step up and go here to this household of faith where all good things are added unto you and all bad things are removed we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it we give you all the glory and the praise as God in the earth today in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today I thank you that you are making all good things come to me right now and I shall live in all good things and have all bad things completely removed I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 